Now, during the World Cup, a Japanese television station attempted to explain to the viewers what mm. the different positions were on a rugby pitch by using animals. They created the perfect animal 15. But it's not every day we have the legendary Steve Backshall on the show, and we showed this team to Steve, and it's fair to say he was less than impressed. So we've asked him to put together his own animal 15. So here is Steve Backshall's all-star invitational Simbin dream team animal 15. Oh. Snappy title. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Falls off the tongue. <laughs> I, I could have spent months doing this. This is such an amazing idea. But <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Uh, I've started though, front row, they went elephants. That is absolutely ludicrous. You've got to go with pound for pound the strongest animal on the planet, Dynasty's Hercules, the Hercules beetle, able to withstand 850 times its own body rate. So you're talking about a prop that can push 849 other props. On its own. That's a pretty yeah, good yeah. addition to the That's, that's yeah. decent. Yeah. Yeah. At, uh, at Richard's position, Hooker, we oh, have. what are you, Hibs? The most accurate animal on the planet, the archer fish, which is able to squirt water up to knock an insect off an overhanging bough. They're so good that they can compensate for refraction in the water, maybe a little bit beyond the minds of, of most front row forwards. Sorry, Richard. <laughs> 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 But they, they are ferociously accurate, so in terms of throwing in, that would be your absolute go-to. Now, they went giraffes for the second row, You're not having which that. is ludicrous. It's ridiculous. Yes, they're tall, but they can't catch, and they've got great big gangly legs. I'm going to go for one of the greatest jumpers in the animal kingdom, the springtail. Imagine your second row being able to leap clean out of the stadium to catch a ball. Back row... I had a lot of fun with this. At number six, the pronghorn, which is the greatest endurance athlete of all animals, able to run at 30 miles an hour for as much as 20 miles. So big engine, can just keep on running non-stop. Open side, I've gone for the wolverine, oh. which is an animal that punches well above its own weight. Uh, the wolverine have been taken, seen taking down an adult moose. At number eight, I've gone bison, because Scott Quinnell, Dwayne Vermeulen, Billy Bonapona, mm. yeah. Bison. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to say. At, uh, at number nine, Honey Badger, as um, we all know, mm. don't care. And uh, <laughs> Faf, Faf de Klerk has got Honey Badger written all over him. <laughs> uh, it's, it's an animal which is known to be able to drive lions off their prey, and they're that big. At number ten... Can I just say, this is what Gabby would be if she played rugby, she wanted to be an outside half, so yeah. I'm interested right? in what this is. I've gone for the orca because it is, to me, the most sophisticated communicator, uh, the best at... Uh... <laughs> Have you planned this? <laughs> <laughs> you wait till you see what I've got in the centres. Dan... Mate, if you've got a shih tzu or something to go in the centre, I'm going to go in the <laughs> and just cut it out. It's... <laughs> I've gone for the spotted hyena. Oh my because God. Come on. I kind of figure, you know, they, they're kind of ugly, they smell bad, they spend most of their time face first <laughs> down in a carcass. Unbelievable! <laughs> but they are, they're, they're very tough, very robust, very rugged. And yeah. does it matter yeah. what gender any of these are? Are they all... Are, are, well, are... actually, it's a good one with spotted hyena because the females are the boss and they're bigger and stronger and tougher <laughs> actually, than the males. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> the maths are starting to add up you. Yeah. <laughs> OK, yeah. right, OK. <laughs> I've also played wing and full back mine, so we can go... <laughs> well, this one is a little bit more obvious, so I've right. gone for the three elite speedsters of the natural world. So I've got oh, on, on one wing, I've gone for a cheetah, usually around about 60 miles an hour is believed to be their, their, their top speed. On the other wing, we've gone for the, uh, the fastest creature underwater, Ooh. the marlin, and a top whack of around about 50 miles an hour, I'm going to say. And then uh, we have here the fastest oh. creature ever known to have lived. Peregrine falcon in stoop can get up to 200 miles an hour. No way. Yes. So we'll put that at fullback. So there you go. That is my that Sinbin is... 50. I'm loving this. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve awesome. Backfield's All-Star Invitational Sinbin Dream Team Animal 15.